It is day 13, everybody, of the It Takes Grit Summer Series, and we're working on that underbutt. Oh, yes, we're going to do a whole bunch of exercises. They're going to get our booties lifted and work on that underbutt. So I just want to take us through a nice little warm-up, literally one minute, and then we're going to get straight into it, because you are going to feel the burn today. I want you to put a letter B in the chat if you are ready to feel the burn. And we're going to take it down into a nice slow squat and then push down into those heels. Give yourself a smile. You are here and we are going to crush it. Oh yes, we are. People are saying these lives are tough. And you know what? I'm going to help you through. Nobody is going to be left behind. We are really going to make sure that we crush those results today. So push those knees out to the side, into the ground and lift up through the chest. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Okay, take it down. You're going to sway over from side to side because we're going to work the underneath of those legs today. It is going to be fire. Here we go. We're happy. We're excited. And we are ready to go. So if you want to grab weights today, you can do. If you're like, I don't want to use any weights, no problem, you don't have to. Maybe you can use water bottles of cans of food. All right, I've got loads of bees in the chat ready to go. So if you have got weights, you're going to grab hold of your weights. Let's see. Just want to check on everybody that you guys are doing a great job. Here we go. All right, everybody's ready. Okay, we are ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it into a deadlift. You're going to stay down in the deadlift, but you're just going to tap from side to side, okay? So you want to push your hips back, all the time thinking chest is lifted, hips are back, and then you're just going to tap from side to side. So if you've got some weights, your palms are going to be facing towards you, and all you're going to do is stick that booty back and then tap from side to side. Pull the belly button in towards your spine, lift your chest up, and just tap from side to side. Oh yes, tell you what guys, we're going to feel it today because this is my favorite part of the body to work out. So I am going to push us to the max. Here we go. Woo! Out to the side. Now take it back onto a diagonal. Okay, so just wake up a little bit more of the body. Now, if you're feeling too much tension, just lift up a little bit higher. But what this is going to do is it's going to create a lot of resistance down onto the ground. Here we go. Chest is lifted. Give yourself a smile. And whoo, keep that deadlift, pushing that booty back for three, two, and one. All righty, everybody. We are getting nice and warm. I'm going to get our starter going. Obviously, Alfie's probably going to keep barking throughout this whole thing because that's what Alfie does. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come back to the center. Oh, let's just check. we got some music going right here. Here we go. All right, so we're going to come back into the center right here. And all you're going to do is you're going to take it into a deadlift. You're going to push down into the ground and then squeeze all the way up to the top. So hips are going back. We're going to add on to it those little taps, right? So chest is lifted. You're going to take it down, push in, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. Deadlifts are one of my favorite exercises. So what you want to do is you want to push into the heels, lift those toes up, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. Here we go. This is going to take a couple here, and then we're going to add on those steps from side to side. We got this. Three, two, one. So now you're going to come down, and you're going to step from side to side, and then you're going to come all the way back up again. Now tuck those hips underneath, full range of motion. Chest is lifted. Let's take it down. Tap to one side, tap to the other, and then lift all the way back up again. Here we go. Woo! Alfie, you want to come over here? He's giving up. All right, squeeze at the top. So push down, push into those heels, lift the chest up, and a little tap either side. And then tuck those hips all the way as you get to the top. Come down to your edge. Here we go, everybody. Oh, yes. We're going to get that booty on fire today. The under part of your butt, right? Where it kind of meets that hamstring area. We are going to focus on, and we're going to create that muscle so it's nice and strong so we get those results. Here we go. Tapping out to the side. Now you're just going to take it in taps to the side. Here we go. Little taps, lift that chest up. Now we're going to take it onto the diagonal. Oh yes, out to the diagonal. Can you feel that change? Oh, underneath of your leg is starting to ignite. I've got eight pound weights right here. So just take it into little steps out to the side. Chest is lifted in three, two, one. Back to those deadlifts. Deadlifts. Now push it into those heels. I want you to send those hips back, push it into the heels, lift those toes up, push in and squeeze, making sure those knees go out to the side. Here we go, everybody. Woo! 
We're going to be on fire by the end. Now take it to a double tap. Push down and then squeeze all the way. Here we go. So send those hips going straight back, right? It's like someone's just kind of hit you right here. You go down, little tap, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. And get that full range of motion with your glutes as well. Woo! Down we go and extend. Keep it going. We got this. Woo! Breathe through it. Now remember, why did you show up today? You showed up because you wanted to complete the workout. And that is exactly what we are gonna do. We've got grit, determination, and nobody needs to quit. Because this is how we find the grit in ourselves. This is why we find the determination. All right, now lift up, come down to the ground, and tap out to the side. Lift that chest up, last part. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Woo! Breathe through it. That's it, lift that chest up, pushing that booty back. Feel the underneath of those legs on fire. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Oh my goodness, Woo! We are really waking up the lower part of those. Right under here, this is what we're targeting right here today. Okay, we're gonna take it into a single leg deadlift. So, your feet are gonna be, yeah, maybe like half a foot apart. We're just gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna push into that heel. We're gonna tap the hips underneath. We're gonna make it more challenging, but we're gonna start off right here, okay? So bring both of your palms facing towards you. Chest is lifted, and again, think about somebody like hinging you at the waist. You're gonna hinge down, and you're gonna squeeze all the way up to the top. So that weight is kind of very evenly disportioned between your two legs. So sticking that booty back, now push into that front heel, into that front heel, and tuck those hips underneath. Yes, woo, here we go everybody. Take it into a couple of pulses down at the bottom. That's it, now lift that chest up, pulse it out. Oh yes, we are on fire today. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love working the hamstrings. And you're gonna learn to love everything too. I used to not love cardio, now I tell myself, I love cardio because I love getting my heart rate up, I love getting results, Oh, I like getting sweaty, right? It's all the way that you look at things. When you look at things differently, the things that you look at will change. All right, all the way up to the top and take it into a couple more reps and squeeze. Oh yes, inhale through your nose and exhale out. All right, let's try it with that leg lifted. So you're gonna come down to the ground, lift up that back leg and then tuck those hips all the way underneath. Here we go. So take it down to halfway through your shin and then scoop those hips under as you get to the top. Lifting that chest up nice and high, and here we go. Woo, breathe through it, everybody. That's it. Come down, not all the way down to the ground, like halfway through where your shin is. That's it. Check. Four, three, two, one, and scoot all the way back up to the top. Now you're gonna keep that foot right here, and we're just gonna squeeze up and down. Oh yes, Woo. You guys say that the lives are more challenging. I think it's just because I'm like on and I'm like, let's just keep going. We got 30 minutes, let's blast it. And a big shout out to all my Burn VIP members. If you're a member of my app, well, congratulations. You guys are doing double workouts today. And I'm just so proud of the community that we've built. We've got positivity, we've got community. Woo. And I just love our private Facebook group and all the themed workouts we do. All right, last one and squeeze. Okay, well guess what? We've done one side, we gotta do the other side. Yes we do, so let's put that right foot in front, that left foot's gonna be about a foot, half a foot apart, and we're gonna take it all the way down. Now push down into that front leg, and then tuck those hips underneath. It's so important that you get that range of motion. So push those hips back for me, here we go, and then squeeze all the way at the top, tucking those hips underneath. <sighs> Breathe through it. We got this everybody, no problem. We are gonna be able to get through it because this is what this series is all about. It's about grit, it's about determination, it's about showing up when you don't want to. Because how do you feel when you show up when you don't want to? You feel so much better afterwards. It gets you out of the hole. It gets you out of the area that you were in, right? So all we have to do is keep on showing up. Now lift up, we're gonna take it into those pulses. Here you go, three, Two, one, take it down, little pulses. Now push down into that front heel because that's what's gonna activate that front leg. Here we go, keeping that chest lifted, only down to halfway of your shins, so make sure that you're not all the way down on the ground right now. That's not what we need. Here we go, three, two, 
One, take it back into a couple of reps. So down halfway, and then tuck those hips underneath, almost pushing it all the way through. We're gonna take it into those single legs without it on the ground. So here you go, you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna scoop, and then put that leg right next to it. Here we go, you got this everybody. Just give it a go. Push down into that supporting leg, tucking those hips underneath, giving yourself a smile. Because guess what? You're here. That's the most amazing part. And this workout would not be the same if you were not here. Everybody is collectively creating energy right now together as a unit. So I am proud of you and I'm so happy that you are part of this. Tap those hips underneath. Here we go. All right, are you ready? We're gonna take it into some pulses. So down here and pulse. That's it, now push down into that heel. Yes, you're gonna feel it, but that's the whole point, right? We can feel the burn. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, all the way up to the top. Now this time, you're gonna just little, little tap, basically the top ball of your foot, just like we did on the other side. You're gonna take it down, and then tucking those hips underneath. Here we go, everybody. Oh my goodness, I am fire. Woo! I think I need to might open that window. We need to get some air in here. Tuck those hips underneath. Always lifting that chest up. Now really think about pushing those hips back. Here we go, lift up. We got this everybody, keep going, nice and strong. You're owning this, you are in control. You have the grit, woo! All right, we're gonna come down and pulse it out. Little pulses, lift that chest up. Pull that belly button in towards the spine, ribs it down, little pulses. Three, two, one, take it back into, woo, all the way down. Now push down into that front leg. That front foot really wants the heel push down into the ground. Here we go. Last sets, come on, make it count. Tuck those hips underneath, all the way back, and squeeze. Let's go for three, two, and one. Last part, you're gonna come into a wide deadlift. You're gonna take it down and squeeze. Here we go. Come on, everybody, we got this. Woo, you got it. We can do this together. Your energy makes a difference right now. So if you're not pushing, you're not getting at everything, that's going out in the world. Give me one more and release. Oh my goodness. Yes, pop those weights down. Give your hands a little bit of a shake. Take a sip of water and give me a number five in the chat, in the comments. Oh, if you felt that in the backs of your legs. <laughs> that's really what's gonna work us going up higher. Right, so we're gonna grab those weights again. Let's see how you guys are doing. Oh my goodness, you guys are doing such a great job. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can take a nice big breath in. Exhale, give yourself a smile. Come on, you're here. We're doing this. We're going out to the back and we're gonna take little circles out to the back. So you can even bring those weights right here, lifting that chest up, or you can put them on your hips. I find it easier to balance with them right here. So you're gonna take it back onto a diagonal. So we're working the underneath of that booty, right? So lift that chest up and take little circles. Oh yeah, so out on the diagonal, circles going outwards. Yes, now push down into that supporting leg, lift up through your chest, give yourself a smile, and you know that you're gonna finish this because I'm not gonna let you go anywhere. Here we go, three, two, one. Over to the other side, taking circles going out. Here we go. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your toes nice and wide on the mat. Now push into the heel and lift up through the chest. That's it, tuck those hips underneath, have your foot nice and relaxed, and then you are just using that glute muscle oh, to take it round. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We're getting hot, we're getting sweaty. Don't worry, it's all gonna be worth it. This is what we wanted, right? Yes. All right, little circles going backwards. Three, two, one. Now back over to the other side, we're gonna go circles going inwards. So push into that heel, lift up a little bit higher through your chest and have those weights straight out in front. The weights are gonna create a little bit of resistance. Do not worry, it's very hard to get bulky. You have to lift like hundreds of pounds of weights and be eating a lot of food. Let's take it over to the other side, circles going inwards. Now push down even more into that heel. Lift up through the chest. You are proud that you are here today. You are proud that you are collectively part of this energy, that you are part of this tribe. Yes, you are, you own it. Push down into that foot, lift up through the chest. Woo! Use those legs. Okay, now you're just gonna take it back 
Little extensions out to the back. Weights are going to be straight out in front. That's it. So lift up through the chest and little extensions out to the back using your glute muscle, not your foot. Remember, have your foot nice and relaxed and then just lift up that leg. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going to take it back into those wide deadlifts. So both of those feet facing towards me, sticking that booty back, push down into those heels and tucking those hips underneath. Oh yes, Woo. we're doing this everybody. Now if you can't feel it, it means that you need to use heavier weights. Yes indeed. So push down into those heels and tuck those hips underneath. My goodness, we are already halfway. I swear that I could just keep working out with you guys. I'm like, where does the time go? <laughs> Here we go, push down into those heels and squeeze. Woo. Inhale through your nose and exhale out. You got this. Keep going, tucking those hips underneath. Lifting that chest up nice and high and breathe through it. Woo! Just take it into a little pulse to finish. That's it. Come on, lift that chest up. Pushing those knees out to the side. Pushing those hips back. And here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push down into those heels. Love stuck under. <laughs> All right, you can put one of those weights down. You're going to hold on to one weight. You're going to bring it straight out in front of you, and you're going to take your leg, and you're going to extend your leg, and we're going to take it into some single leg squats. So if you need to hold on to a wall, you absolutely can, right? You can hold on to this weight, come down, and then squeeze those hips. So you want all of the weight right now, because we're going to start off with, that, with the right leg. All of the weight wants to be right here into that heel. So I want to lift up through the chest, extend that leg out in front. Now kind of like spread those toes on the mat because it's going to help grip you. Now lift up through the chest, tuck those hips underneath, push down, that's it, squat down, and then push into that heel, into the heel, into the heel, and then tuck those hips underneath. That's it, we got it. Option number two, you could just put your foot right here and you can take it down into a squat just like this, okay? If you want to practice on your balance, work a little bit of that core. Here we go and squeeze. Now push that knee out to the side. You don't want your knee going inwards. That's it. Now push down into that heel and then tuck those hips underneath. It's gonna be hard. It is not an easy exercise. All right, so we're just gonna go for five and four. Come on, you got this. Three, tuck those hips underneath all the way. Two and one. Now hold down here and pulse. Oh yes. It's on fire, let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, it's a great calf workout as well. We're gonna get that under butt and the calf. So we'll take it over to the other side. Lift that leg out, push really hard down into the heel, tucking those hips underneath, lifting that chest, and here we go. Down to your edge, and then tuck those hips underneath. That's it, so you go down, now push into the heel, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. That's it, smile, because you're here and you're so excited about this. That's it, we got it. Keep it going. So down, up, and squeeze underneath. Breathe through it. Here we go, we have got five. Tuck those hips underneath, all the way. Get that full range of motion, four. And three, two, last one. And squeeze and take it into those last set of pulses. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and come back to the center. Hold that weight straight out and we're going to take it down into a squat and then tuck in those hips underneath. I want you to really push through so that we activate the underneath of that booty. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and squeeze. Woo! We did it. Single leg squats, everybody. We did that today. That could be something that you could tick off and you can say, what did I do today? Well, I was a badass and I did some single leg squats. <laughs> okay, so while we're in this squat position, if you are somebody who's watching at home and you are not subscribed to this channel, well, I'm gonna tell you off right now. You can't be watching all these workout videos and not even click the subscribe button, which by the way is free. So, right now, click that subscribe button, like this video and squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Oh my goodness, right, we're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna do some couple of bridges. But actually, I'm gonna get you to hold on to one of your weights as well, because why not? We're just pushing it all out today. How's everybody doing? You guys are doing 
So great. Okay, you're gonna come all the way down to the ground. Oh, you're gonna take a nice big inhale. And you're gonna take a nice exhale because we're not gonna stop right now, okay? We gotta keep on going. So push those, the weight onto your hips, your heels down into the ground, and you're gonna lift up to the top. And you're gonna hold for a couple of seconds. I wanna activate this muscle right here. And then slowly come down. So push down into the heels and then lift up. Now this time, lift your toes up and push down into your heels. Now you're gonna feel it slightly different. Now put those knees out to the side. Whatever you do, do not bring them in together. So knees out on the diagonal. Here we go, so lift up, hold at the top for a couple of seconds and then slowly all the way down. Here we go. And lift, pull. That's it, now tuck those hips underneath even more as you get to the top and release all the way down. Okay, we're gonna take it up to the top and you're gonna start with your right leg. You're gonna take your right leg out and in. Option number two, you can keep this foot flat on the ground. So you're gonna take it out and in. That's it, so push that hip up even higher towards the sky. Ah, oh yes, we got this. Keep going everybody. Now push up a little bit more, lift that hip. Of course you don't need to use the weight, it's just gonna add a little bit more resistance. So it's gonna make it more challenging. There we go, and what's wrong with more challenging? You know, you can always take the weight away, but you can't add it later. All right, here we go. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Lift all the way up, over to the other side. So you can either have that foot flat on the ground, or you can lift that, that toe for a little bit more resistance. And remember, you're doing this because you want to feel strong, because you want to get results, because you want to prove to yourself that you can do it. So it's so simple. It's not difficult in life to be successful. You just have to show up, and you have to keep showing up, and you have to show up when you don't want to. And that's the grit that it takes. Okay, here we go. Push into that heel, and lift up through the chest. We got this, everybody, for five, four, three, Two. We're going to take it onto two legs. Here we go. So you're going to walk that leg out one at a time, and you're going to come up onto your toe this time. So push down into your mat with your toes, and then heel down onto the ground, extend out, and tuck in those hips underneath. Oh my goodness, I just felt sweat dripping down my chest. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Let's keep it going. Nice and strong. Okay, now we're going to take it onto the heels. We're going to walk those heels out. And we're going to walk the heels all the way back in again. That's it. So heels out and then tuck those hips underneath. Now you're going to feel it in the top part of your booty and the bottom part as well. Okay, so just push those hips up nice and high to the sky and then take it down to your edge. Lift all the way back up to the top. Here we go. Come on, we got this. Woo! Push through it. Hold that weight nice and tight onto your hips. Lift up even more. Tuck those hips underneath as you get to the top. Squeeze. And here, we're just gonna hold it at the top. Now tuck those hips under even more. We're gonna raise up onto the heels. Up onto the heels and down. Here we go, tuck those hips under even more. Push those knees out to the side. You'll feel it even more in the underneath of your booty. Here we go, woo! Breathe through it, let's go. Now hold at the top, little pulses. So you're gonna come up onto your toes and then you're just gonna take into some little pulses all the way up to the top and release oh my goodness Woo! we're gonna come all the way over onto our front you can take a sip of water you guys are doing so great i'm so sweaty anyone else have drips of sweat coming off them right now all right we're gonna take it down to the ground we're gonna bring those heels and feet in together we're gonna squeeze right here and we're gonna lift up okay so you're gonna bring your hands directly in front of you maybe you want to put your head down or you just want to lift it up right here, but look down, don't arch your neck. You're going to look straight down and you're going to just lift up. So bring your heels and your feet together and then just push up to the sky. And give yourself a nice little smile. Woo! We are getting a great workout in today. Yes, let's go. All right, now just all you want to think about is it's a very small, tiny little motion. It's nothing too crazy. It's just pushing your feet up to the sky. And here we go. We're going to pulse it up. Here we go. Little pulses at the top. Oh, yeah. This is not easy, okay? But we didn't want easy. We want something challenging that's going to grow us. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take it up again. Little squeezes up, down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Again, take it into little pulses. Squeeze. Woo! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. You're gonna come back down to having your hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're gonna take it into a fire hydrant over onto your right side. Remember, lead with the booty, not with the knee. Now push down into the ground. Give yourself a smile. We are on fire, everybody. Woo, we're gonna get through this. Guess what, it's just the last part. We're gonna make it happen. Yes, tuck those hips underneath. Lift those knees out to the side. We're gonna take it into a pulse. In three, two, one. Pulse it out. Woo, here we go. Do not quit. You can't stop now, that's crazy. Come on, lift that knee up. Bring both of those hips facing down towards the ground. Give yourself a smile. And here we go. Three, two, one. Over to the other side. Oh my goodness, I feel like my booty is gonna fall off. <laughs> no problem. Here we go. So push down into those hands. Lift up through the chest. And let's rock this out. Woo! Tuck those hips underneath. Push that knee out to the side. Now spread those fingertips nice and wide. Lift up through the chest. If you haven't got a strong position right here, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna own this move. So let's own it and pulse it. Woo! Little pulses out to the side. Now push both of those hips facing down towards the ground. Lift up through the chest. Here we go. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do this. There's no way that we can quit right now. We've got the grit. We got the determination and release oh my goodness me you're gonna come all the way up to standing and you're gonna grab your weights <laughs> last part everybody come on we are doing so great everybody is on fire so we're gonna take into a three step deadlift okay so what that means is you're gonna go one two three and then you're gonna squeeze all the way up to the top last couple of exercises i promise you all right lift that chest up give yourself a smile and here we go three two one, let's go. One, two, three, push down and then tuck those hips underneath. One, two, three, and all the way up to the top. You're looking good. Come on. Woo! Strong. Like when you get up, I want you to own it. Like strong. Like you're in control of your life. Yes, you are. Push down into that ground. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why does she feel like she's in control? How does that happen? My head's all over the place. I totally get it. I was exactly where you were. Yeah. The work I've done over the last, my goodness, like seven, eight years has really shaped me into the person that I am today. And that's basically why I wrote a book. Because I was like, I can help so many people take control of their life and feel like they are in control and that they are in charge. So if you have not already got a copy of my very first book, It Takes Grit, you are missing out. You gotta get your copy. Here we go, everybody. And squeeze. One, two, three and lift right we're gonna take it over to the other side so lift that chest up nice and high come on last exercise breathe through it Woo! tucking those hips underneath two three now push down into that heel and lift one two three down into the ground and tucking those hips underneath here we go one two three and squeeze breathe through it one two three all the way down and tucking those hips underneath that's it one two three and push down all of that weight wants to be in that front heel so that we can activate that glute muscle here we go all the way up one two three lift now take it into just your single deadlift that's it now send that booty back push down into the heels this time lift up the toes i want all the weight to be in your heels take it into a double pulse down you go and tuck those hips underneath come on full range of motion we got this, everybody. Here we go. Woo! Breathe through it. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We got this. Last couple of seconds, everybody. Yes. Okay, you're going to come down. You're going to step it back. Lift that chest back. And here we go. Woo! Yes. You can do it. It is already there. You just have to keep moving your body. And let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, 
and tuck those hips underneath and release. Okay, I want you to write a number two in the chat if you've already got a copy of my new book, It Takes Grit. Thank you so much. We're gonna take it into whoo, a little cool down, but I'm gonna give you an extra cool down in the next video as well. So inhale through your nose and exhale, lift all the way up. That's it, one more time, inhale through your nose. Oh, and exhale, release everything out. Shake out your hips, shake out your booty. Got some cool down videos for you as well. Make sure that you get your copy of my new book, It Takes Grit. And of course, if you haven't already signed up for the newsletter and all the fun things that we have, plus a free meal plan and workouts, all the details are in the description below. I love you, you did so great. My butt is gonna fall off, but let's keep on going. We've got tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow.